Welcome to the tech circuit. We have a Samsung dryer board here that came out of a dryer that would run when you close the door and would not shut off unless you either open the door or unplug the dryer. Well, that's obviously a motor relay and this is a motor relay right here. As you can see, we've got zero ohms of resistance across the contacts. We're going to replace this and we're going to do that with uh, because these Samsung dryer boards have this uh, coating on here and they're pretty well sealed, we're going to use a Harbor Freight 130 watt hot knife to cut through it. It's actually a very quick process. What I did was I took this and um, uh, made a line that uh, designates about a half inch around the relay so we have plenty of room to work with. This hot knife basically you can just cut right in. It's pretty quick because it gets really hot. It makes pretty quick work of it. You can just go right in, cut that back cover off so that you can have access to the relay pins and unsolder them. And that's a pretty quick and easy way to get that back piece off right there to expose the uh, relay pins. We'll just pop that off. There it is. And uh, this coating is um, comes off fairly easily. We're just going to push the hot knife around the relay a couple times there like that on the back side and this will essentially give us access to the uh, back side of the relay just gently go in there and peel that off to expose your relay pins there and not much to it really. Once you get it in there, it just comes right off. There's your relay pins right there. It's pretty cooperative once you uh, get underneath it, it just comes right out. So to deal with this coating on the other side, you just take your hot knife, press it right in on that side of the relay, just briefly this side of the relay, this side and then this side here just enough to break that coating and we're going to go ahead and desolder this relay You can use uh, any kind of desolder you want, but this, this type of desoldering uh, tool is really good at um, getting that solder out quickly. That's one of the keys, is to get the solder fully melted and getting it out quickly before it has a time to re-solidify. Just press it fully over the pin. Make sure it's completely melted. Put a little bit of pressure against it. And then pull the trigger. The key is getting that <laughs> soldered just completely melted because this is a double sided board and they can be a little trickier. <laughs> and that should be it. Sometimes you have to work to get it out. Sometimes you have to reheat one or more of the connections just to. And there it goes. All right, so we've got our relay out, and I'm going to replace it with the same relay that was in there, which I feel is important because, not just because of the coil voltage, but because of the coil resistance. Coil resistance should be equal to or greater than 
if anything, uh, the original coil resistance. If it's lower by too much, then you're putting too much of a strain uh, on the um, um, relay driver circuit because of the impedance mismatch, and you're causing it to use too much current in order to drive the relay. So let's put the relay in. And side up a little bit. Make sure it's got free passage in there. And it just goes right in. The relay just goes right in. Well, there it goes. Okay, so now the relay is seated in there. Um, you want to make sure all the pins are fully in. And from here, it's just a matter of the, the hard part's over. Now it's just a matter of soldering it. You're just soldering these. And, and let them flow really well because uh, it's a double-sided board. Uh, now the hole in the board actually is plated, but in case you broke any of that plating, you just want to make sure it's soldered really well. I've never had a problem with it, with this repair. I've never had a situation where this did, did not fix it. So that's basically it. Make sure that one's good. And then that's our Samsung dryer board repair. It had a motor that relay that was sticking and now this should work just fine.